G'day, I'm Kim Ilman. I'm an F1 photographer, and I spend about 220 days away from my home in Western Australia every year. And these are 10 things I can't live without as an F1 photographer. Number one is this baby. It's a Canon R3 with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. This is Canon's latest offering. The reason I love it, uh, certainly over the last particular model that I had, which was a 1DX Mark III, I think, is that it's so much lighter, it's so much quicker. Look at this. That's a lot of frames a second. And the autofocus is absolutely mind bending. I can place the focus dot on somebody's face and then reframe and the camera keeps focus locked on that person's face. And if you only had one choice of lens, it would be the 70 to 200. It's got enough range that it would cover most aspects. Yes, you wouldn't be able to get shots of drivers who've just won the championship and you're a meter from them, but for most times, that'll cover you for almost everything. What does it retail for? Around 10,000 euros, and I've got two of them, but I tell you what, when I'm taking 18,000 photographs over a four day race weekend, I wanna have these by my side. Number two, you probably won't believe this, socks. Bombas is the manufacturer. Now, I was in Neiman Marcus last year at some point, needed some socks. I went and found these. They're made of merino wool. I got this pair and I love them. So I went back, I've got a few more pairs. A couple of months later, I ordered another 10 online. Recently ordered another 10 pairs online. Why do I love them? They're just so beautiful to wear and I love the pattern. So this is pretty much all I've worn for the last year. Coupled with these socks, I wear these. Now they're not particularly fashionable shoes. They're made by On Running. The thing I love about them is the comfort, unbelievable. And in my early days of photography, I'd see a number of other photographers wearing these and I'd say, what are they like? And I'd say, just great, get them. I got them, they are great. I probably go through two pairs a year. They're water resistant. You're like, you couldn't walk around in puddles all day, but on the occasional day when it rains, these are incredible and coupled with the socks, absolute comfort, it's like walking on air. Next up, my laptop. I use an Apple MacBook Pro. I've got a 16 inch, this is actually the smaller model because mine's getting fixed. But then I go and connect to it, this baby. This is a stream deck. Traditionally, this is used for live streaming, but I don't use it that way. I use it to save myself time. I have a whole lot of macros for my editing on video. And look at this, if I need to go and program in here, George Russell keyword, I press that one button. I don't have to type in 25 keystrokes. It's made by a company called Elgato. And quite frankly, I cannot work without that. If I happen to forget that, and I have done a couple of times at the track, my day is shot. Next up, Vegemite. What is this stuff? Well, it's a black paste. And uh, anyone who's tried it, who has not been perhaps raised from birth eating this stuff, doesn't like it. It's a yeast extract, but for Australians, and one in particular, me, I love the stuff. It's great to have on hand if I'm at the track and I've just got a bread roll and some butter. A bit of this will get me through. It's interesting too, the way it came about because this was a byproduct of beer brewing. They found all this pasty stuff at the bottom of the vats, I gather. And uh, many years ago, they decided they'd market it as a food. Of course, the Brits will know Marmite, and this is not dissimilar to Marmite, although it's a lot thicker. And for our taste, Australians taste a lot better. Aha, my RAM mount with a Manfrotto iPhone clamp. How do I use this? If you've seen any of my videos, you probably would have noticed I often shoot vision from cars, from aeroplanes. And instead of holding a phone like that, which is horribly unstable, you simply whack that in there, stick that to the window. And if I happen to need audio on this phone, rather than getting cables and sticking a mic up here, which is what I used to do, look at this. This is a Rode mic that plugs in there. And the sound quality is amazing. Now I've seen similar mounts of this, but none anywhere near as good. It's rock solid, great suction on it, and it allows you to move it around, crazy angles. I love the thing. And what's the audio quality like out of this microphone? Pretty darn good, I'm using it right now. These F1 photo books, well, they're another necessity. They help fund my travel. Uh, this is my best selling book at the moment. This is the 2022 best of Formula One. 23 fantastic pictures from the year. The books themselves aren't paper. As you can see, they are hard pages. 
and probably, I'm guessing, 1.5 millimetres in thickness. And with F1 being such an expensive sport, this is a very important facet of my business. It helps fund the enormous cost of travelling to 25 odd different countries throughout an F1 season. And yes, you can get them online at kimilman.com and they'll be sent to most countries around the world. Next up, bucket hats. I have a number of them. This is one that George Russell gave me. Nice lightweight. I've got another one that Valtteri gave to me. And then I've got a whole host of black ones which are a little bit heavier. Why are these essential? Well, I don't want to get skin cancer. And secondly, is if I'm photographing with this camera, look at this, whack this on, no problem at all, shoot away. If I'm shooting portrait with a cap on, look what happens. You can't get it anywhere near your eye and unless you push it up like that, it's not suitable. So that, I'm afraid, is useless at the track. Next up, an absolute essential for an F1 photographer and that is a hard drive. Well, this is actually a solid state drive. This is eight terabytes of memory. I can just whack so many pictures and videos onto this. And when I'm away for say five or six races from Australia, I need to keep copies of every photograph I've taken. And pretty quickly with normal sized hard drives, you run out of room. And this being so amazingly small and incredibly quick is a real must have. And are they cheap? Nope. They're the opposite of cheap, probably 1300 US dollars for that. It's made by a company called Sabrent and you need a special cable to connect it to your laptop. And I've made that mistake of not having that cable a couple of times and it's caused me some grief. Next up, my R5 camera with my Rode microphone and this Gorillapod. This is what I use, this setup. In fact, I'm using the camera right now to record this video. I can hold it at an arm's length. I can put it on a table, wrap it around a handrail. And while it is large and sometimes draws unwanted attention, in terms of video quality, it's astounding. Oh, and I've got one bonus. It's this Yeti cup. This was actually a gift from the Miami Grand Prix organizers. And I don't know whether you've ever seen a Yeti cup, but it's um, great for hot or cold drinks because it keeps the hot ones hot and the cold ones cold. It's got a great little lid on the top here with uh, a magnetic open and closer. But I never used to have water sitting on my desk at the track or at home here. I do now. And if I fill this with ice at the start of the day, by the end of the day, there's still ice in it. So this is a Yeti cup, and if you are lucky enough to get a freebie from the Miami Grand Prix Authority like I did, you will very much appreciate how great a product this is. These are my 10 things that I can't live without as an F1 photographer. If you've enjoyed this video, and the fact that you've stayed to the end suggests you might have, please hit the like button. And I still believe that some 58% of you aren't subscribed yet. What is going on? Hit the subscribe button, please. And if you want to become a member, know that one of you members will win a signed Sergio Perez print. More details about that just prior to the start of the season. For all of my digital images, head to ProStarPix.com for a wide range of F1 merchandise, F1 photo books, wall art and signed driver prints. Head to KimIllman.com for my best images live from the track and all during the week. Go to Instagram, search my name at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.